what is going on youtube welcome to another this week at bungie with waffles um i am your host silence and i will be going over the twab live today here on my twitch channel at twitch.tv slash silence is waffles if you want to come over and hang out with us for the day after we get done this we'll be playing beyond light campaign because i'm just getting started on my main account um i did run through the new light series of it but that's neither here nor there today we're going to go through what information they've given us for this week they talk about the hot fix that they've in place uh for a few little things that they they uh, had on the plate to get rid of and things that are going to be on the uh, back burner until they can get a full-blown decked out maintenance patch in all right so here we got this week at bungie the crow has found a new nest all right so they talk about a little bit of um you know the the raid incoming for this weekend obviously you know world's first raid is coming up deep stone crypt we finally get to dig into that uh a little bit of a hint on um the dawning trials and iron banner are coming into the play as well so uh let's dig right in and go in first stop is the raid all right so they got a nice little video up there so if you want to go check that out go over to the website hit that up check it out on youtube the truth all right or just type in deep stone crypt you might find that there so um they dig, dig, dig deep. They talk about contest mode, um, showing off the fancy rewards, and wanted to get to the final reminder of how the show is going to begin for the raid's first ch uh, challenge. So, once the raid has been conquered, they will announce the activity has been completed from Bun at Bungie on Twitter. After this, the teams will start diving into the data to verify the first completion uh, was clean. The hope is to be able to announce the winner shortly after Worlds First, but they want to ensure the validation efforts are sound. Ultimately, the goal is to have a post congratulating the uh, winner and winning team on uh, November third, uh, November twenty third, Monday. Sorry, that's uh, next next Monday. All right. So, as a reminder, contest mode and a quick stasis update. All right. So, on contest mode, will be can be found in uh, full details of contest mode can be found in the earlier form of um, the twop. So, we did a video on that one already. Uh, go check back on around the. Uh, 15th of october uh contest mode will cap all players at a 20 power below each encounter for 24 hours artifact power will be disabled during contest mode and the team's power cap goal is 1230 for all the encounters being above 1230 will not provide any additional advantage in the final fight all right earlier this week an issue was discovered with stasis was doing large and we mean insanely large like if y'all saw those clips and videos of everybody going in with stasis at certain bosses at certain encounters and across the map just doing everything it was doing a huge amount of damage to bosses the team worked a light lightning pace to de develop a hot fix which was a hot fix 3.0.0.3 um which thankfully they've given us all of that stuff together this week so we really don't have to dig through two different things yeah, but I'm just giving uh, we'll briefly touch on it here and then I'll make a separate video for that in its place. All right. The world's first title. Don't call it a belt. All right. It's not a belt. It's a title. All right. Get it right. We'll be in the bungee store after everybody's completed it. All right. Day one raid emblem will be available 24 hours with the contest mode active to unlock the unique emblem. Um, the raid jacket will be uh, available. Uh, on December 1st to unlock the rewards for the Deep Stone Crypt as well. And then the deadline to claim the rewards will be December 31st. And the deadline to purchase will be December 31st as well. All right. Good luck to everybody going out there to try it out. I hope you, I wish you the best. I hope you don't spend too much time on everything. And I hope you get through each and every single encounter with ease. All right. Next, we go to securing the entrance. So the security team talks a little bit about some new changes coming in place for those who want to create free play free play accounts and jump right into our PVP section of the game? All right, so they've implemented uh, an SMS uh, verification, which is pretty much just text messaging verification, hoping that this will deter any cheaters from jumping right on in, play, creating a new account, and just jumping right in to play the game in the PVP no, state part of the game. All right, so with trials and Iron Banner and competitive PVP playlists, uh, cheaters are rampant. That's pretty much it. Uh, so they're trying to squish that down just a little bit by in place implementing this small little deterrent which i don't think is going to be too too much of a big deal because anybody can form a get it get a phone number and throw it in there and boom you're off you're off to the races so i don't know if the, i don't i hope this is a, a the first step to a bigger part of maybe two four 
factor authentication or like something else. We need something else. All right, because to create an account and then going in it, 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 and having them verify a phone number, it's not going to be enough, to be honest. Like, like I said, anybody can get a phone number, plug it in there and go about their business. All right. So they say why they're doing this is the players can negatively unscrumptious play, scrumpulous players can negatively impact the gameplay experience for everybody and undermine the hard earned achievements of others. Bungie takes the threat of cheating seriously and will continue to be implementing systems to help verify that, obviously. Um, and then they go on about the the whole uh, and, and explain it. They, they, they go on about it and they explain it and what to do and how to start it up. So if you need help with that, you know, if you're a free to play player, and you want to receive a notice in game the first time you try to access a protected activity this will provide you with a verified now link to follow to bungie.net and process your, your sms linking and then you will be given a code and so on and so on again i hope this is something that works out but i i don't really see it being a deterrent um they need some other hard hitting things that could stop somebody again you can get a phone number throw it in there and like i said you're off to the races so moving on coming come december 1st bungie will be starting a new fundraising campaign uh with the light keepers game to give okay uh over the years and they go in on to explain what they're what the whole focus of this is so let's go down the list here and talk about it so the bungie found over the years the community has proven time and time again that gaming does good you've acted as guardians of the world providing aid to people in need no matter the challenge we're excited to announce the next initiative partnering with game to give starting on December 1st with further, without further ado, we'll pass the mic over to the Bungie Foundation to run us through this wonderful event. And the Bungie Foundation starts. Gear up for our second annual game to give charity event in the support of Bungie Foundation and Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Benefiting six kids across the country, we invite the Bungie community to join us in celebration of what we accomplished together through games and giving. Starting today, we are, we invite all of Bungie community members to sign up to our host our destiny 2 fundraising stream between december 1st and the 13th we will have incredible prizes for you all and various uh fundraising milestones on giving tuesday december 1st we'll be kicking off a 24-hour streaming marathon with some of your favorite influencers from a variety of channels including twitch and facebook gaming we'll have featured live streams taking place through the entire two-week campaign so be sure to follow us at bungie love to receive the latest information which I think is pretty dope. So we may or may not participate in this, but I think we will for the first, you know, time ever. I didn't participate last year because I didn't find out about it until last second. So there's that. Now, moving on. They've got the, uh, like, here. here's some rewards you get for donating, and you'll get these in-game as, obviously, when you donate specific amounts. So $25 donation will earn you the Miss Blossom emblem and the Gilded it's the gilded yeah gilded shell exotic ghosts and um if you missed last year's this is your choice chance to get your hands on them a 50 dollars donation will earn you the above items plus the light keepers emblem okay which i think is pretty dope and there's a slew of other prizes on there so if you go to if we go to the prizes list right here um i thought i had it up already so for 500 dollars milestone you receive a light keepers emblem obviously and then you get the uh a, you get the streamer bundle all right so they got a streamer bundle here so they include a gaming capture card a webcam a studio lighting kit which is actually something that i've never seen any other fundraiser do but i think it's pretty dope at a thousand dollars you get a uh, a xbox one you enter for a giveaway for an xbox one or um a playstation 4 with a gaming headset at twenty five hundred dollars you get a mouse pad and then uh a poster to hang up Kind of like how we got the St. Jude's back there for raising, uh, doing all our fundraising stuff. All right. And then finally, for $5,000, you get inserted into all of the above, all that good stuff up there. You get the VIP gamer emblem. You get the physical copy of the Gamer Zone poster. You get the uh, a jersey for Meta Threads, all this fun stuff. So I think we're going to participate in this this year and see how far we can take it. Um, I would love to at least get to a thousand dollars. That'd be kind of cool. Like, I'm not saying like I want that stuff, but if we do get any of these things, like if I do participate in this and we do get any of this stuff, we'll do it. We'll give it away to the community. I don't, I don't, I don't need an Xbox one. I don't need a PlayStation four. Uh, and then for the streamer stuff, like, I mean, I may pick and choose out of that, but Hey, who knows? We'll see. I might even just give that stuff away too. I don't necessarily need any of that gear. So it looks pretty dope. I can't wait to get started on that. And then back to Bungie. Let's go down. All right, so tune in the darkness. So now we jump into the uh, 
the hot fix for 3.0.0.3. All right, a lot of bugs and issues were caught up. I'm gonna go over to the hot fix page to give you more details about that. Cause like I said, I wanted to go into this a little bit more, just make one video instead of two. Um, although I might just still make two. So let's go back. We're gonna touch on it just a little bit. And they've made some some changes to stasis. There's been a lot of different things that have been breaking the game. Obviously, we if you, again, if you're living in a box and you don't know, check out Twitter, see all the good stuff, and see what's been going on. Okay. And carrying on, they've nerfed a lot of things. They've nerfed the uh, cold snap freeze duration against guardians. They've nerfed the ice flare bolts, the uh, penumbral blasts, and the winter's wrath heavy attacks from warlocks. The <laughs> it's pretty much all warlock nerfs. <laughs> so you should be a little bit more comfortable going into PvP, going up against these guys, um, and should have an easier time. My suggestion would be to bind those breakaway keys onto something easy like your mouse. I have a Logitech G502 and I have it bound to this, okay? Which is the G, I want to say the G7 button. Eight button, one of, it's G6, it might be the G6 button. So definitely get that going so you can um, get out of that, that situation a little bit faster, all right? Moving on, we will go, did I go too far back? I think I went too far back. No, I didn't go too far back, okay. Scroll back down. All right, those are the brief changes. We'll talk about that more in depth when we go over to the hot fix to go over the patch notes, and then we'll go from there. All right, and then moving on, there's been a lot of feedback over the last couple of days about how sparse loot has been in the game. And I kind of want to remind everybody like in this video that you do realize it is the beginning of the season. There might be some more things down the line to get more loot and to get it easy, more easily, um, they, or make it more readily available for everybody to obtain over the course of the season. I don't think they would just drop a DLC and say, here, this is the loot pool. Now have at the RNG, like they, they might have something up their sleeves. I'm going to give it a few more weeks before I go in and say, Hey, this is the slimmest season of weapons and, and blah, blah, blah and so on um i've been seeing a lot of posts about that I've seen a lot of articles um and i don't really agree with any of them i don't really agree with any of the opinions again that's my opinion to disagree so uh i feel like there's going to be some more down the line and and we'll just get there like again we're in a set we're, we're we're in week two like i can't really complain or be upset about too much uh, too many things that we haven't seen yet um, so, but they talk about it here. Um, the development team as beyond, beyond light has launched. We've been tracking your feedback around loot, particular weapons, and wanted to make a moment to let you know how we are processing it today. We're going to talk mostly about the short term with more information to follow in the future around the long term as we work through those problems and fusion caps are intended to help destiny to evolve and ensure that every release, there are new rewards that are exciting and relevant to the meta. However, we agree your feedback that there's not there's currently not enough variety in the world loots available to players this season. To that end, we are adding back in a selection of weapons that will help alleviate this issue. We will also be watching to see how the landscape changes in the addition of weapons from season 12 and this raid launch. We also agree that getting near cap weapons from random world loots is frustrating. Thus, we are removing those from the loot pool and we are weighing drops more heavily towards newer weapons. Here's a list of adjustments to the world loot legendary we weapons pool you'll see over will you'll see with over our next November 24th hotfix. They removed all legendary weapons that hit their infusion cap at the end of the season. They added all of the seven serif weapons from season 10. They've added all of the season 11 seasonal and planetary reprisal weapons. They weighed the drop chances so that newer items are more plentiful and the, they, you know, they drop them. That's pretty much it. That's all I want right there. I kind of summed that up myself. All right. And then they, they're squashing all the bugs and all that kind of stuff. All right. Hunter B Hunter is going, they go over that for a little bit. And they say, uh, the, this activity, uh, this week, the se season of hunt activities, the story content unlocked for season pass owners in order to access this, you obviously need to have the season of the hunt season pass. 
to join in on that so i saw that on tuesday when i started up it immediately just threw me right in there to the season of the hunt while i was doing my beyond light campaign so there is that so there is no slew of content to not be happy about right now all right get in there get thrashing throw blow some stuff up freeze it shut it down and go about it all right they did note that there is a they are investigating the issue of players couldn't acquire the seasonal artifact after completing the full new light tower introduction and we're it was blocking the progress of the season of the hunt story mission so they are checking on that new light players should uh be sh should be sure to complete the full tower introduction prior to picking up the seasonal activity from savala's office all right keep that in mind i didn't have any issue with this so we were good to go there um we continue to monitor and report obviously yada yada yada, yada with all that good fun stuff okay add-ons Player support has said that there are issues with the Beyond Light character boosts. Don't know why you would still want to get one of those. I mean, we're pretty much everybody's at the same freaking level, but whatever. You get what you get. All right, PC migration. Remember, on December 1st, PC migration is done. Cut, rip. If you have not moved your licensing over from battle.net, please do so now. You are losing out on money. You are wasting your money. You wasted your money if you didn't move your stuff over from battle.net. If you stop playing, I highly suggest you move it over to steam asap you can easily go to battle.net go to your account management and then it will take you to the uh, battle.net website where you will see a list of your games and when you see destiny it's still listed there you can see it and it says migrate you literally click on that and you will go from there um maybe i will make a guide on this as well so people will understand that because we have about two two weeks left before that gets shut off completely and you lost the money that you spent on that other uh game launcher so there's that all right known issues the long list not gonna go over them today we went over what we needed to go over but these are the issues that are on the plate right now they're gonna try to take care of these and they wanted to let you know what was up front and are currently being worked on all right and then they go on to the normal movie of the week spiel yada 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 all right and that's it for the top all right i will see you guys okay. next time remember to uh if you enjoyed the video and you appreciated my talking banter about what's going on thank you i am trying to reach 100 subscribers on the channel so it would do me an honor it would be my honor if you would click that like button maybe even share it and also subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out and which will be the patch notes in probably about you know a couple of hours so i see you guys later i'm gonna get back to my stream and you have a good day thanks for watching peace